Lights. Camera. Shopping. There was a reason why so many people had tried to regenerate York Road Station. Since the world was reopened, train stations had become the new shopping mecca, a captured audience with a short attention span and an appetite for convenience. With the area resuscitated by new developments, there was an opportunity to profit from the proximity to London's underground, and it only made sense to build up. Marie was a public figure. The houses, the holidays and her personality were all part of the image. But when the Daily News condemned her as a climate criminal, she decided it was time to rebrand. Studio Rail was the perfect backdrop. Unfortunately, what came from necessity turned to greed. The obvious success of York Road Station showed no sign of reaching John's neighbourhood. The investors wanted an iconic and memorable development, aspiring for a new signature London landmark to attract celebrities and high net worth guests. Its fake stone facades awkwardly collided with commercial London and the residential streets behind. A bizarre caricature of traditional values, durability and timelessness, all tied together with scaffolding. If you see anything worth sharing, remember, pose it, post it, sort it. Marie sighed, closing the pop-up ads that littered the screen of the ticket machine. She was on a deadline, and some local had already shouted at her for getting a quick pick on his doorstep. She only wanted a bit of authenticity. An overwhelming hope for more humanity in the industry kept Marie engaged, and it helped that they paid her salary. She was a new kind of luxury consumer, promoting only gifted products that shared her inclusive values. Her life presented online disguised the lack of quality with a pixelated layer of separation. Don't forget to pick up your photos from the Candid Captures kiosk in the gift shop. Pacing the entire five metres of her flat on the 27th floor, Molly knew she had a black eye. When she saw the door that her key couldn't unlock propped open, she simply let her daughter play in the courtyard garden. When the snobby mum vloggers escalated their judgement into confrontation, Molly should have known she was being live-streamed. She couldn't deny that those families paid a lot more for the privilege, but their kids only wanted to play together. They thought Molly should stick to her level, a pathetic strip of grass allocated to social housing tenants on the back terrace that felt more and more like segregation. Looking down from on high, the bourgeoisie in their extortionate penthouses couldn't believe the cheek of those families that won the housing lottery of discount rent in this new luxury high-rise. Of course, they shouldn't get the same services for free. Platform 1, Studio Rail. The current set design was inspired by a pandemic-induced fever for control in the chaos. This was democratic access to otherwise unattainable backdrops. Even as the cost of living rose, while the rich grew uncomfortably rich, it was wrong to assume that wealth was finally out of vogue. Each aesthetic was in rotation for a comeback every 20 years, but each season, skips worth of outdated props were sent away. Polystyrene was more hassle than worth to reuse. It was starting to go mouldy anyway. Having to choose between genuine intentions and profit had started to grate on Marie's conscience. Everyone was quick to write off her job as frivolous, but content creators undeniably change how we interact. It's an unfortunate side effect that media and marketing are now rigidly stuck together. Thank you for travelling Studio Rail. Even the elite surveying from their watchtower didn't see the downfall on the horizon. When the poster girl for SCAM station broadcasted comments ignoring the exploitation of workers and extreme segregation, a coordinated boycott exposed the tower. Molly became a martyr for the uprising. She can support her family on the royalties from viral videos of her outrage. Marie, on the other hand, is probably not going to find anywhere to make as much money as she made at Studio Rail, but spends her time as a marketing consultant. Authenticity always sells, especially when you're lying through your teeth. You might think that was the end for the established institutions of media and marketing, but having millions in reserve allows you to be a little more reactionary when times get rough. And still today, somewhere, all those souvenirs are gathering dust, waiting to be discovered and flogged. Ten times their original price as a vintage collector's item. <laughs>